Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to reconcile your banking free agent. Uh, free agent does things slightly differently. Strictly speaking, it's not such a bank rep, more of a locking down exercise in free agent. Uh, the other cloud providers tend to make you go through an exercise that makes you tick each transaction that is on their software to show that Yep, that's on their software. I found that on the real bank statement. Those two are definitely there and nothing's missing as it were. Um, free agent doesn't really make you do that process. It tries to keep things a little bit simple by saying what it does is it'll say the onus is on you to ensure that the balance that free agent is uh, showing is the balance that's on your bank account right now. And you just keep the records up to date all the time, perhaps once a week or once a day, something like that. And once you've updated them, the balance that is on your bank account is literally the same balance that's on your bank statement when you go into your online banking or if you just checked at the cash machine. Um, so there is no ticking exercise in free agent, but there certainly is a locking down function um, and that's linked to uh, reporting a VAT return. So in this example, we have already reported a, an August VAT return. And so that's locked transactions down from being edited that appeared on the VAT return. But what you can then do is actually go to uh, a, another locking feature to lock everything down that is up to the same period end as that VAT return. So just to show you, uh, if we go to taxes at the top and then VAT, uh, and you'll see that we've reported several VAT returns here and the last one being uh, August, uh, 31st of August, 2018. So that means that if you try to edit any transaction that appeared on that VAT return, it won't let you do it but it would still let you post bank payments, bank receipts, bank transactions up to the 31st of August, because all that will happen is it will appear on the next VAT return. But anything that's already appeared on a VAT return, it is locked down. What we want to do is say, actually, we also want to lock down everything in free agent up to the 31st of, uh, 31st of August. So once you've reported your VAT return, we just go up to uh, your username up here and click on settings, and then scroll down to account locking. And what we've done in this example, uh, we've already said that we want to lock the accounts up to the 31st of August and that lock, we would then just click save changes at that point. And that's already been done uh, at present just to ensure that this example would work successfully with it just being a demo account. Um, and it just means that if we try and post something dated up to the 31st of August 2018, it just won't let us. So just to prove that, if I went to banking, click on the current account. And if I try to add a transaction manually, let's say it's just a direct payment uh, dated the 31st of August, for example, let's say it's £10 and we wanted 20% VAT on that to accommodation and, food, uh, accommodation and meals, so we'll just call that food. If we try to save that now, free agent would have an issue with this because what it's saying is that You've already told me that you want to lock the accounts down to the 31st of August. You, you said that the bank balance on free agent was in agreement with your real bank balance. So why are you trying to post something else on the 31st of August? They'll, they'll end up diverging those two balances and therefore not reconcile as it were. So it just won't let me do that. So like I said, strictly speaking, it's not such a bank rec exercise, but the bank recs on all of the other providers tend to lock the accounts down to that period. So I just wanted to show you how free agent deals with that. So I hope that's helped guys and thanks very much for watching.